Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the upper hinge cam riser in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 of an inch open end range, and 10 millimeters socket wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new upper hinge cam riser. This upper hinge cam riser is located at the bottom of the freezer door, right above the door hinge. It controls the opening and the closing of the freezer door, allowing it to close tight. The most common reason to replace the upper hinge cam riser is if it worn out or breaks, preventing the freezer door from staying tightly closed, causing ice to build up in the freezer area. To get to the part, we need to open both doors. We need to remove this uh, tow grill. There is a three Phillips screws that holds it in place. I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. And now I'm going to pull off the grill. Let's place the towel underneath of these two tubes because we're going to disconnect them. And now I'm going to use the 3 8 open ended range. I'm going to press on this locking collar and pull out the line. Ooh, get the water coming out. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Anybody thirsty? All right, now this line. At this point, we need to close both doors. And then we're going to go up on the top of the fridge to, to remove the upper hinge here. Take out to a couple of Phillips screws that hold the cover. And we're going to lift off the cover. Okay, take it easy because it uh, has a connection there at the back. So don't just yank it right there. So next, we're going to disconnect these two plugs. Okay, let's turn it over. And uh, now we're facing these two locks. Press down and pull it apart. Same thing here. This is the tab pressing down and pulling apart. Our next step is uh, removing this uh, one single Phillips screw that holds the green wire, the ground wire. Okay, now we're facing a uh, task of taking out those three 10 millimeter bolts. I'm using a uh, socket wrench with a 10 millimeter head. The door will lean forwards. It will touch the opposite side door. Make sure that it's going to go slow. Hold on to the door all the time. Now we can lift the hinge off and put it aside. All right, so next step would be going down and uh, taking the door off the bottom hinge. Remember, hold on to the door all the time. All right, now I'm gonna take off the door and open it slightly and I'm gonna support it with my foot and lift it off the hinge. And we need to pull out the, uh, the water lines. So don't don't rush slowly all right i'm gonna place it on the floor so we can work on it okay so this is the camera riser we are replacing and uh, we need to take out this phillips uh, screw that holds it in place and now we're going to slide it off this is the old upper hinge cam riser next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. I'm going to install the new cam riser. 
place it over these uh, two water lines, insert it into the cutout, then align the holes and install that Phillips screw that is holding it in place. I'm going to tighten it with the Phillips screwdriver and now I'm going to place the door back on the fridge. All right, I'm going to lift the door and uh, bring it to the hinge. Now we are facing a little uh, difficult task of placing the uh, two tubes into the hinge. And now we're going to install that uh, tubing. And bring it on hinge. And we're going to close the door. Next, we're going up on the top of the fridge and we're going to install the upper hinge and the cover. The harness needs to go inside. Be careful. Do not uh, break any wires. Okay. We're going to align one hole and I'm going to install this uh, 10 millimeter bolt in. And as you can see, I'm using the same uh, 10 millimeter socket wrench. Do not tighten that bolt. I'm going to align the door. And now we can install the rest of the bolts. That two holes are aligned perfectly. And now we can tighten that, that 10 millimeter bolt. And go to the other two. Now we're going to reconnect everything. Now we're going to do it in the opposite order. So we're going to place this uh, ground wire. And it's a single Phillips screw. That's what we're going to install. Tighten it well. Okay, let's connect the two plugs. Plugs are on. Make sure that this plug was not disconnected. Place it down. I'm going to place that uh, cover on. I'm going to match the holes. And secure it with the uh, two Phillips screws here. Right now I can go down and uh, work at the bottom of the door. Now we're going to connect the tubes. Press it in all the way. And then the other one. Now we're going to install the grill back on. And we're going to secure it with the three Phillips screws. And now when we're done, we can close both doors. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.